Welcome to Yoga For You, a channel tailored to helping you discover your very own unique yoga practice. Hey everyone, welcome to Yoga For You. I'm Kristen and I'll be guiding you through sun salutes and a warrior sequence. I hope you enjoy the practice and I hope you benefit from the practice. So let's start by just getting settled into the chair and settling into our breath. So I invite you to close your eyes and just bring awareness to the breath. Taking a few moments to just settle into the body and settle into the breath. allowing our breath to be an anchor throughout the practice. Returning to the breath as we move through the movements. Taking a few more breaths here. And when you're ready, if it feels good to you, you can bring your hands into prayer position, a gesture of gratitude, and we'll go ahead and start our sun salutes. We do them in a series of three, and three different levels of sun salutes. So starting with an inhale, raising your arms to the sky, and then exhaling the hands to heart center. So with a big inhale, just open up the shoulder blades and reach for the sky, bringing the palms together and then down to the heart. One more time. Inhaling the hands wide and up. And exhaling the hands heart center. And then we'll do the second step of the sun salute, which is inhaling the arms wide and up. And then exhaling, we swan dive down and forward fold. You can meet your hands in front of your shins if that feels good to you. And then opening the arms wide and up, we come up again, meeting the palms at the top. And then with an exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhaling, the arms rise to the sky. Exhale, swan dive down. Touching the hands in front of the shins. Inhaling, wide and up. Exhaling, the hands come heart center. So inhaling the arms again, they rise to the sky. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, everything comes up. and exhale, bringing your hands heart center. And we'll go ahead and do the full sun salute, adding a cat-cow movement in the middle. So like we did before, the arms rise to the sky. And exhaling, we swan dive down. This time we put our hands on our shins with a flat back and then we forward fold a little deeper, allowing the head and neck to release and the lower back to stretch. Inhaling, the hands come up on the shins and the thighs. We hammock the belly into this cow position. And then exhale, tucking the chin and tailbone under, we arch the back. And then we come up, beautifully rising to the sky again on an inhale. And then exhale, the hands come heart center. So let's do it again. Inhaling, the arms rise to the sky. Exhale, we swan dive down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands come up the legs into that cow position, allowing the belly to hammock, looking up towards the sky. And then exhale, we tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, arch the back. And again, on an inhale, the arms rise. And on an exhale, they come to heart center. 
Let's do a couple more. Inhaling, gratitude for the sun. Exhaling, gratitude for life itself. Inhaling, halfway up. Exhale, release. Inhaling, the hands come all the way up into your cow position. And then exhale into cat. Inhaling, the arms rise to the sky. Exhale, the hands come heart center. Last time. Inhaling, the arms rise to the sky. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale. The arms come all the way up on the thighs, hammock the belly into your cow, and exhale into cat. Inhale, the arms rise to the sky, and exhale, the hands come heart center. And let's just take a moment here, putting our hands on our lap, maybe closing the eyes, and just feeling the effects of those sun salutes, of those movements, and of linking the breath with the movement. Taking a few breaths here. And then when you're ready, we'll take both hands, sweep them to the sky. Look up in between the hands. And then we're gonna fold forward so the belly comes to the thighs. And then we'll sweep our arms back slowly, dropping our head and neck, releasing, and the fingertips reach behind us. Breathing here, big breaths through the nose, feeling the chest and belly. And on the inhale, you just slowly sweep the arms so they're on either side of the ears, and then coming right back up, looking between the hands. And we're going to cross the right arm over our body so it reaches our left, the side of our left thigh. And you can either bring the left hand down to the side of the chair or maybe hook it on the back of the chair and just get a little twist here. So twisting to the left, big breaths through the nose. And then when you're ready, the arms rise to the sky again. And this time, the left hand crosses over the body, the right hand comes down, or maybe that right elbow is hooking over the right side of the chair. So twisting to the right, big breaths through the nose, feeling the breath in the chest and the belly. Settling into the body, settling into the breath. And we'll go ahead and bring those arms right back up to the sky, looking between the hands. We're gonna fold forward again. So the belly comes to the thighs, and then we sweep the hands back until the fingertips are pointing to the back of us, relaxing that head and neck. And then slowly, gently sweeping the hands back to either side of the ears, and then coming all the way up and looking between the hands. And let's get a little twist here again. So the right arm crosses over the body and the left arm can hook the chair. And you can just twist and breathe. And then when you're ready, coming right back up, looking between the hands and the left hand can cross the body the right hand goes on the back of the chair and just breathing and twisting on this right side. Coming through center, 
we'll just go ahead and feel the effects of the stretching. So taking a few breaths here, we'll just go ahead and breathe and just feeling the effects of the stretch. And then let's move into our warrior two sequence. So we can bring our right leg out to the right side of our chair and the left leg can be pointed forward. And then we're gonna open up beautifully into a T. You look over your right middle finger and just roll the shoulders back and down and feel the heart lift as you roll those shoulders back and down. Strong arms here and feel really planted into the earth, grounded through the soles of the feet. And if it feels good to you, you can drop that left hand to the floor and raise that right hand to the sky, reaching through the right side body. opening up to your warrior position again looking over that right middle finger and then bending that right elbow putting that right forearm onto the thigh and raising that left hand to the sky maybe taking a big breath through the nose here and when you're ready opening up again into that beautiful warrior looking over that right middle finger dropping that left hand down towards the earth, raising the right arm to the sky, feeling really grounded through the soles of the feet, stretching that right side body. Opening back up to your warrior, looking over that right middle finger, and then bending the right elbow, right forearm goes to right thigh, and the left arm goes to the sky. And maybe the left arm reaches over to the right. And then slowly, gently, we're gonna open back up into warrior two. And last time, the left arm drops to the ground, the right arm reaches to the sky. Opening up into your warrior. Right elbow bends, right forearm to right thigh, left arm to the sky. Feel the stretch and feel the breath. opening back up into warrior and then everything comes to center so we'll go ahead and do the other side so the left leg comes out to the left the right leg stays facing forward and we just bring our arms out to a t you can look over those left middle fingers and roll those shoulders back and down feeling really strong through the arms and connecting with the breath through the chest and the belly Dropping the right hand, you'll raise the left arm to the sky. And then bringing it through warrior, bend that left elbow and left forearm goes to the thigh and the right arm goes to the sky. Breathing here. Opening back up to warrior. And we'll go ahead and drop that right hand down again. The left arm comes up. Taking a big breath here, feeling that stretch through the left side body. Opening up into warrior, bending that left elbow, left forearm to thigh, right arm goes to the sky. Opening up to warrior again, let's do this one more time. So the right arm comes down, the left arm comes up, Moving through our warrior position, bending that left elbow, left forearm to the thigh, right arm to the sky. And then coming through warrior again and coming to center. Let's just take a moment here, feeling the effects of those stretches, connecting with the breath again. And when you're ready, you can just bring your arms out like a T, bring that right hand to the right shoulder and the left hand to the right shoulder and just give yourself a little hug. Maybe you wanna squiggle into your hug. You wanna rock side to side. I like to do a little bit of figure eight motion. Just feels good. And we'll go ahead and open the hands out 
And this time, the left hand comes to the right shoulder first, and then the right hand to the left. And maybe you wanna just move those elbows up towards the sky, arch the back a little bit, look up to the sky, feel the stretch through the shoulders and the back, giving yourself a little hug. Just wanna close the practice by thanking you all for practicing with me. May the love in me always honor the love in you. Namaste.